As your governor, I'm very pleased to host you all here today, especially the children, the parents, and the educators, and all of us as partners in dealing with education in Nairobi, the team from the national government, uh, the representative, Madam Maggie Lesuda, the regional director, who is also my friend, my principal from Lenana, Wanakemei, thank you for being here and for being part of the team um, of the, the Heads Association. And uh, Abdi, you shocked me by bringing my teachers from primary school, Mrs. Abok and Mrs. Irungu. And the last time I saw them, I was shorter than them. But it was really, thank you so much for, for bringing them. Before I say anything else, I want to really give a tribute to teachers, center managers, the head teachers who are here today, and all the other staff whose diligence and service in education is beyond praise. It is true, we're all products of education. If it is not for you, many of us, in fact, all of us, would not be here uh, today. Tuwa pongweze na tuwashukuru wali muwetu, tuwa pigie makofu. As the DG said, teaching ECD is more difficult than university. It is more difficult. That is why most of the teachers are ladies. Because wanaume hawana patience. Ekuka na hawa toto, you don't know, you know, and you, you, you start with them, they can't even help themselves. Munawafunza put training. You teach them how to talk, how to write. Every time I drop my daughter to school, she goes to the same nursery school I went to. And uh, my teacher, who taught me then, is still there, Ms. Kawaja. I just tell Ayani, Asante. Every day I just say thank you. Because and she's doing that for my daughter. Imagine that. So we honor you, and we will stand with you. I will support you as a governor of Nairobi. Rest assured that I will support you. And step by step, we will make progress. Not everything is done in a day, but step by step, we're going to make progress. I want to thank the members of Nairobi County Assembly. Number one, you have passed the biggest budget in the history of devolution last week. Asante Nisana. And in that budget, the amount of investment we have put in education has never been seen since devolution started by a county government. Thank you so much. Since the advent of devolution in 2013, and Nairobi as an example, from 2013, had the 2022, meaka kumi, ile pesa imeko kubasari Nairobi, ilikuwa ni bilioni tatu. Kwa mwaka moja, chini ya mwaka moja tayari tumeshaweka bilioni moja, 25, and today we're adding more money. In one year, if we've already done a third of what was done in 10 years, you can only imagine what we will do in 10 years, because it's 10. You can only imagine, by the grace, by the grace of God, by the grace of God. See you, Kualazma. Ladies and gentlemen, when you gave us the honor of leading this county together with my deputy governor, we emphasized four things key to us. A city of order, a city of dignity, a city of hope, and a city of opportunity. Every day with my team, we strive to deliver this. But this work is not just about me, it is not about you, it's about all of us. And that is why we say, let us together make Nairobi work. When we were campaigning, we didn't say, let me make Nairobi work, or let Sakaja make Nairobi work. It is a collective responsibility of all of us citizens of Nairobi to make it work. As everyone has said here before, and I will not repeat, education is actually the key equalizer. And any investment we put in education will come back. More than anything else, whatever you put into education is an investment that has a direct return. It's up to us to give our children this great gift and to make sure that this gift is given equally. As uh, Moshimiwa Atito has said, all our children deserve the same standard. My child should get what your child is getting. 
There is no child of a lesser God in Nairobi. And we are committed to making sure that, that in the next few years, we will equalize opportunities. Because that is the best thing that you can do. And everybody, invariably, no matter your tribe, no matter where you come from, no matter your religion, everybody wants the same thing. To go about their life peacefully, but to guarantee their child a future. That is the best gift that we can give to our children. And I'm glad that in this room, I have partners in going to deliver that. Very quickly, now I'll go in Tafadali Mpunguze. Let's have some order over there, please. Somebody will ask, why do we finance ECD to the level that we've done? And I really, really, really honor and thank my team. Brian, Abdi, Ruth, Asante. You know how many times we talk in a day. Yeah? Poleni, for the late nights I call you, for the times I keep you in the office until whatever midnight and past. But this is the result of your work. I want to thank you. And I want to thank the chair. In fact, the chair is the one who brought to my attention one day about the lack of this money for a while. And immediately, I even had to go to the controller of budget myself to make sure that money for ECD comes out because it was stuck there. But I, want, I must acknowledge your dedication. You people believe in what you're doing. Siati nasema, siati mtu alipata kazi, kazi ilipata mtu. Iti mietu, Mkotop. Thank you so much for, for what you do. But I'm saying, why finance is the first? Because we understand that a child's most important steps first are taken long before they enter school. Research and experience has told us that a child who is well nourished and well stimulated before their fifth birthday has a better chance of maturing into a stable, well-adjusted adult compared to one who is not. And that's why this is the most important investment these formative years. Secondly, Research also shows that children who are enrolled in preschool are about 25% more likely to go on to succeed even in their teenage years than those who aren't. And once in school, of course, their behavior, their attitudes, and their worldview changes from that early age. So, nata kuimiza wazazi wa Nairobi. Tafadhali tulete watoto wetu shuleni. Tualete shuleni na shule Nairobi ni bure. ECD Nibure, let us not charge anybody a single shilling in our ECDs. We will not allow that. Whatever you require, we are going to provide as a county. Whatever you need, we will provide. Don't charge the children. We need to prepare our children for school, and we need to equalize that access to the early childhood education, which proves so vital later in life. Now, I want to be clear here. In the past, these opportunities were not open to everyone. Some of our children had been left behind, and some still are lagging behind. What we're doing is cutting inequality by widening opportunity. And I must acknowledge that we have many children in informal schools, and I spoke about it last time, because there has not been enough investment in education in Nairobi over the last few decades. I'm grateful that we've agreed with the president and our MOU is actually done. The AG has completed. We're concluding it. That we will partner to build 5,000 new classrooms in Nairobi in the next three years. 5,000 extra classrooms, including improving the infrastructure of our ECD centers and increasing those ECD classrooms. That one we must do. It's an investment in the future. Those who are in the informal schools, even as we discuss, I met the UPBET team in, Kawang, in Gatina with Moshimiwa Swaka and Honorable Watch of Madare. The first thing we have reduced in our finance bill is the amount we charge uh, to the average schools from 10,000 to 3,000. 1,000 per term. We just pay 1,000 per term. Now we are going to come and make sure that we are regulated, that the quality of education is at par as we move to support you going forward. So that our children are also getting value in those schools and they're getting education, even as we move to bridge that infrastructure gap. In the last few years, there's been so much growth in enrollment. We moved from 13,000 to as high as now 30,000 learners in our schools. This is good 
but in a city of 5 million people, it is nowhere near enough. Our aim in the medium, in fact, in the short term, is to double this number from 30,000 to 60,000 children in our ECDs within the year and then grow as quickly as possible after that. That is our target, Brian. We must, lazima work. yeah, lazima. We have put resources, we are putting our effort. I know you guys won't let me down. So we start today with these 30,000 pupils. Each has 3,200 shillings set aside as a capitation to them and a total of 100 million shillings today. Pesa Taslimu is set aside for the boards of this school to use according to the guidelines that we already have and that have been agreed upon. And please, Pesa Yawatoto, Yashule. Kama kuna Pesa atuwezi samehea yule anatumia vibaya ni Yawatoto. Hiyo tuichunge, tuitumie vizuri, Public Accounts Committee, the Public Investments Committee, muangalie vile shule zetu zinatumia pesa. That one I will help you oversight. Because we must give quality to our children and value to our parents. Now remember, if we get 60,000, as I've said, into these programs, many more will still be missing out. And that is why, as I've said, we're dealing with the infrastructure. As we move forward, our vocational training centers have been lagging behind. I have gone to a few. The other day I was in Wadaka, I've gone to Kiwanza with Clemo, and I want to go to all of them. We must do something. At least we've unlocked the 31 million shillings that we're giving you. We have unveiled vehicles for driving school. Old vehicles that were being dumped here as it was a county. We have revived them. We're going to be offering driving school, driving lessons for our young people to come to the vocational training centers. We're going to equip you. We're going to take our motorbikes there because many of our border riders are not trained. We've agreed with NTSA that our stations, our colleges are going to be accredited to offer driving school so that people can come there. That we have agreed. We've also agreed with the international ICDF, isn't it, Victor? Starting with the Waidaka, that it will offer international computer driving license. Uh, as, a, as a package that people normally go for because what is being offered is not attractive. We'll make these centers attractive and those who are trained there will participate in doing actual work for our county, in fixing our vehicles, you know, in, in doing actual work so that people can see who can have vocational training in Nairobi, there's a job or there's an activity that we'll be able to do after, after that. Of course, everybody has spoken about the school feeding program. That program is moving on very well. If you see the pace at which the kitchens are going, some have already reached the 10th course. Some are moving, at, I think, 9, 10 course, uh, courses. I've seen Kaiolewan is going very fast. Mudangari is going very fast. I told them, we're doing 10 kitchens in 10 weeks on the 28th day of August. Watoto Wote Wa Nairobi, in our public primary schools, will start eating a hot meal every day. And they will eat from the 28th of August until the day Jesus comes back. So for as long as he has not yet come back, every day our children will get a hot meal in their schools by this county government and our successive county governments. As Antenne MCS you were located, you had given me in the last financial year, 500 million that started the construction. You have added another 1.2 billion for feeding the children. And by the way, we're getting a lot of support. Just on Friday, I have gotten an additional $1 million from the French government to support, to support this program. This is Africa's largest school feeding program being done by Nairobi County. Please clap for yourselves. You must be proud of, of yourselves. Secondly, we are moving to protect our schools. Wezi wa mashamba. Wezi wa mashamba. Tokeni Nairobi County. Sindio? When I was in Senate, I brought the issue of Martin Luther about the encroachment of Martin Luther Primary, and I fought for it. I spoke about schools in Kasarani. This morning, I was chatting with Robert Alai about Lovington Primary. 
And I showed you that we have the title. I have secured at least already how many titles SG? 40? 41 of the title deeds of our schools. We have given all the schools a copy of your title. Ujue shule nanza hapa mbaka hapa mukai nayo. Sawa sawa. The others are in the process. All of our schools before the close of this year. We shall have your titles. We will make sure that we work with the MCAs to, and, and, and even the MPs to make sure we have secured the perimeter. Na wezi, washamba, zamashule. Start thinking of how to move out because we are not going to negotiate. That one we cannot negotiate. So I hope, and the media is here, please carry that message. We must protect these assets. We must protect our school properties. For posterity, for the future, for expansion. Watoto wetu wawe na uwanja ya kucheza. Hata niongeleshe ya wano wanakatu kuna hao. Ndo watoto wawe na kiwanja ya kucheza. Because many of our estates, many of the places we live, there is no space. There is no green space. We must maintain those green spaces in schools. So the title deeds will be issued. Those who, I think some schools, 40 already have gotten their, their copies. There are schools which have Safaricom boosters and Airtel boosters and billboards. Now, all the people who are paying your shule. In fact, right now, I actually have a meeting. That's why I was rushing the program with Safaricom because there's something we're doing together. We'll ask them, these are our schools. Please, the money that you send must go to the school to improve the school, to benefit our children. So if you know you've been receiving it, find another income stream, because now the money will go where it's supposed to be, to our school. Sawa, sawa? Yes. Si mnataka yotapa? Yes. Na mkota yari kudishi? Yes. Hey, mnaona. <laughs> our teachers. When I was in Senate, I was the chair of labor. And I brought the issue of schemes of service for our ECD teachers. In the Council of Governors, I'm also the chair of human resource. There is no way I will fight for other counties before Nairobi. Now, I want us to agree. We will work hard together with the Assembly and together with my executive to make sure as we increase our revenue, we think about our teachers so that they can get an, an, an improvement so that you can get a better salary. Sawa, sawa. That is my commitment to you and we'll make sure that we can be able to do it. I'm delighted also that we have launched this subsidized vocational training center support grant of 31 million. It'll cater for 2,000 trainees in seven of our vocational centers and I've seen uh, the representation from the ministry dealing with vocational training centers. Ladies and gentlemen, what we're launching is not new. Leadership defines the reality. I want to encourage leaders here. Let us leave a mark in Nairobi. We cannot expect different results by doing the same thing. Let us change how we do things. The executive, I'm very happy with my chief officers, with my directors, with my CECs, because your tempo is changing how things are done in Nairobi. The assembly, thank you. Your tempo and your unity. Which function would you get all of these MCAs coming? It is very rare. Thank you for your show of unity. Please to piggy MCAs to Makofi. <laughs> Max Dupree once said, the first role of a leader is to define reality. The last is to say thank you. In between, the leader is a servant. Let us be that servant now, after defining the reality. You cannot leave your ward the way you found it. You cannot leave your constituency the way you found it if you're an MP. And I will not leave Nairobi how I found it. It must be taken to the next, the next level. So for those who might be naysayers, labda wale ambao wanona Nairobi metulia, wacha tutokoze kidogo, saa how? Sisi tuko pamoja, tunafanya na viongozi wetu wote, vya maviote, tuko focused kusaidia watu wa Nairobi. Wale ambao wanapiga kelele, wanataka tusijenge, ni kama tu wale walikuwa kwa biblia, wakati 
Nani alikuwa anajenga ukuta? Nyinyi mzo wangu Biblia? Nehemia, si ndio? Wale Sanbalat na Tobias. Walipiga kelele ukuta ilijengwa. Watapiga kelele jikoni zinajengwa. Watapiga kelele watoto wetu watakula. Watoto watakula. Watashiba. Watanona kama governor. Hapo 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 hapo. So hiyo msio na wasiwasi. And as I said, feeding our children is not a function. Devolution is not a competition. National government. Devolution is not a competition. It's a partnership of how we serve our people better. You cannot see a need and say I will not do this one. The same way we've been issuing bursaries. If you say feeding is not a function of county, sit me pena bursaries mbaka za college. Hiyo ni function ya county. As Roro has said, it is not. But I'm glad with the support of the president and the attorney general and CS Machogu, we have a framework between us and national government to support school feeding. You've put 1.2 billion, now they're going to add another 1.2 billion to us. Hiyo zini maendeleo. So that we can use more resources in other areas. As I close, let me close with a vision. Imagine a Nairobi in which each child has an early education that they deserve, in which every child center, every child enters school and learns as much as they are able, and in which every child can then enter the world and make a success of his or her life, bringing honor to their family, their county, and their country. Ladies and gentlemen, that dream is within our reach. If we resolve to give our children the hope and the opportunity they deserve, we can make this the first generation of Nairobi children, all of whom have had this opportunity. Let us join hands, let us work together, let's make Nairobi work. Wasababu, Nairobi, lazima, iwak. Asanteni sana mungu wa bariki. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my distinct honor and pleasure to declare the free ECD fund 2023 officially launched. Asante ni sana. Ah, Your Excellency Asante, ningependa.